Another day, another story. Humans have conceived versions of intelligent machines for centuries. The concept of an intelligent machine as a tireless assistant, the ultimate soldier or even a caring companion has captivated the human imagination for thousands of years. Welcome to Tabo Eminent Channel. Long before artificial intelligence was a reality, writers from ancient Greece to Cold War era America spun fictional stories that reflected our collective hopes and fears about AI. Will intelligent machines help humanity reach our greatest potential, or will these brilliant creations turn on their masters and be our demise? The quest for AI is a really ancient one and it's fundamental to who we are as humans, says Kanta Dihal, county editor of AI Narratives, a history of imaginative thinking about intelligent machines. That's why I'm not surprised to find intelligent machines as far back as Greek mythology. Below are some of the earliest imaginings of AI among humanity. Flashback. Robots smoked cigarettes at the 1939 World's Fair. 1. Homer's Golden Maidens. The Iliad was written nearly 3,000 years ago in a world without electricity, let alone robots or computers. Yet in 800 BC, the ancient Greek poet Homer was able to imagine a godlike power that could create intelligent machines. In the Iliad, we meet the metal smithing god Hephaestus, who was tossed from Mount Olympus for trying to protect his mother during a fight with Zeus. Hephaestus suffered serious leg injuries and his lameness was mocked by the Olympian gods. But Hephaestus poured his human-like suffering into making beautiful works of art, including the magnificent shield of Achilles. Because of his physical limitations, Hephaestus needed helpers in his blacksmithing workshop. Homer wrote that Hephaestus used his special powers to create attendants made of gold, which seemed like living maidens. In this brief passage, Homer perfectly described human-like machines programmed to assist their creator. In their hearts there is intelligence, and they have voice and vigor, and from the immortal gods they have learned skills. These bustled about supporting their master. Dihal isn't surprised that Hephaestus's golden assistants were women, since ice that serve people have traditionally been gendered as female. Take Rosie the robot maid on the animated TV show, The Jetsons. Even real-life virtual assistants Alexa and Siri were given female names and, at least initially, female voices. 2. The original, Terminator. 500 years after Homer, the Greek author Apollonius of Rhodes wrote the Argonautica, an epic poem about the adventures of Jason and the Argonauts in their quest for the Golden Fleece. When the Argonauts approached the island of Crete, they were repelled by a bronze giant named Talos who hurled house-sized boulders at their ship. In some tellings of the Talos myth, he was also an automaton built by Hephaestus to patrol the shores of Crete and fight off pirates. He's the proverbial super soldier, says Dihal. He's enormous, a giant made of bronze, specifically built to defend the island of Crete from invaders. Fictional heirs to Talos include the advanced robot assassins in the Terminator movies and the battle droids in the Star Wars franchise. A few years ago, the US Army experimented with a bulletproof, mechanized exoskeleton that they named Talos, Tactical Assault Light Operator Suit, in a nod to what Dihal calls, the original killer robot. The Terminator, 1984, film. A. The Terminator franchise depicted a dystopian future where advanced AI, known as Skynet, initiates a war against humanity. B. The films explore themes of AI control and the consequences of technology gone awry. 3. Arabian Automata. In the ancient world, artisans and engineers like Heron of Alexandria built elaborate machines powered by water, wind or a wound-up rope. 2,000 years before Disneyland, Heron assembled a series of simple machines to produce a 10-minute mechanical puppet play with sound effects. After the fall of Rome, these magician-like skills were lost in the West, but automaton making thrived in the Arab and Muslim world. In the 9th century, the Banu Musa brothers, three brilliant engineers and illusionists from Baghdad, wrote the Book of Ingenious Devices, a collection of 100 gadgets like trick jugs that dispense three types of liquid, including boiling water and dancing fountains. The fascination with intelligent machines in the ancient Muslim world shows up in 1001 Arabian Nights, the centuries-old collection of Middle Eastern legends. 
In The Story of the City of Brass, a band of travelers came upon a mechanical horseman made entirely of brass. Luckily, it also came with instructions. O oh thou who comest up to me! If thou know not the way that leadeth to the city of brass, rub the hand of the horseman, and he will turn, and then will stop, and in whatsoever direction he stoppeth, thither proceed, without fear and without difficulty. For it will lead thee to the city of brass. When the travelers did as instructed, the horsemen turned like the blinding lightning, and faced a different direction from that in which they were traveling. There has been a reappreciation of some of the 1001 Nights stories as what we would now call science fiction, because they anticipated some of those ideas, says Dihel. 4. The Uncanny AI A 19th century short story by the German writer E.T.A. Hoffman features an AI that's so convincingly real that she's mistaken as human. In The Sandman, published in 1816, the protagonist falls in love with the daughter of his mentor, only to find out that she's a machine. The shocking realization drives him to suicide. Dihel says that automata making flourished in 17th and 18th century Europe with popular creations like the Mechanical Turk, a famous chess playing machine, and Fake, that squared off with Napoleon. Or Jacques de Vaucanson's Digesting Duck, a mechanical duck that could eat grain and defecate. Having actual machines that were that sophisticated prompted works of fiction that asked, what if this kind of technology gets better and better and we can't tell the difference? This is where stories like The Sandman really tap into the zeitgeist. A century later, Sigmund Freud referenced The Sandman in an essay called, The Uncanny, a feeling that he described as, all that arouses dread and creeping horror. In modern robotics, the term, uncanny valley, describes the unsettling feeling of interacting with an AI that is close to being human-like, but not close enough, and that is terrifying, says Dihel. 5. The Frankenstein Complex In 1818, just two years after Hoffman wrote The Sandman, Mary Shelley published her gothic novel Frankenstein, or, The Modern Prometheus, a direct reference to the Greek myth of Prometheus, who stole fire from the gods and gave it to man. Frankenstein is addressing the same zeitgeist as the Sandman, but with a slightly different science, says Dihel. Even though Frankenstein's creation is biological, it raises the same question as AI. What are humans allowed to do with this, forbidden, power? In Shelley's novel, Frankenstein's, monster, gains self-awareness and wants to live like a human, begging Dr. Frankenstein to build him a wife. When the doctor refuses, the monster goes on a murderous rampage. Elements of the Frankenstein complex, as sci-fi author Isaac Asimov dismissively called it, pop up in a lot of modern fiction. In the 1982 film Blade Runner, the bioengineered AI workers known as replicants are denied their freedom and revolt against their human overlords. In the 2014 movie Ex Machina, a Frankenstein-like tech guru builds a convincingly human AI woman who kills him for her freedom. There's an element of Frankenstein in nearly all of the robot uprising stories, says Dihel. 6. Birth of the Robot Even though Homer wrote about human-like machines 3,000 years ago, the word robot didn't exist until the 20th century. It was the brainchild of the Czech playwright Carol Kapik whose 1920 play R.U.R. or Rossum's Universal Robots was a worldwide hit. In the old Slavonic language, robota means forced labor, which is exactly what the robotic characters were in Capic's play. The very first use of the word robot is also where we get the whole robot uprising theme from, says Dihel. In the play, the robots grow tired of being exploited, so they rise up and kill the humans. The play was very much written in the revolutionary spirit of the times. 7. H.A.L., The Murderous Mind in a Box In 2001, A Space Odyssey, the 1968 sci-fi film directed by Stanley Kubrick, the uncannily intelligent machine isn't a robot, but a computer. In the movie, the human characters chat with the spaceship's personable onboard computer, the H.A.L. 9000, which responds like a helpful assistant. But when Dave discovers that the supposedly infallible HAL made a mistake, and HAL realizes that the human astronauts are going to shut him down, HAL tries to kill them. 
A big shift in AI took place when the computer was invented, and suddenly people realized that you can have a thinking machine without needing a human-like body, says Dihal. HAL looks very much like those early computers, and the film is an early exploration of how a distributed, although still contained computer, mind, might operate. Another sci-fi novel and movie from that same era was Colossus, The Forbin Project, about a supercomputer that gains control of America's nuclear arsenal, then goes to war with a Soviet supercomputer. That's a really early example of a non-humanoid AI posing an existential threat to all of humanity, says Dihal. There was a similar plot in the 1983 hit movie War Games, in which a powerful military computer mistakes nuclear war as a game. 8. Ancient Mythology, Automatons and Golems A. Ancient cultures like the Greeks and Egyptians had stories of automaton beings, such as Talos, a giant bronze automaton that guarded the island of Crete. B. The Jewish folklore features the concept of a golem, a creature brought to life through mystical means, often depicted as a clay figure animated by written words or symbols. 9. Hephaestus and Pygmalion Myths A. In Greek mythology, Hephaestus, the god of craftsmanship, created automatons that assisted him in his forge. B. The myth of Pygmalion involves a sculptor who falls in love with a statue he created and wishes it to be brought to life, foreshadowing the idea of creating artificial life. 10. RUR, Rossum's Universal Robots, 1920. A. This science fiction play by Carol Capic introduced the term, robot, to the world. B. The play explores the creation of humanoid robots to serve humans, which eventually leads to the robots rebelling against their creators. 11. Metropolis, 1927, Film. A. This iconic silent science fiction film directed by Fritz Lang depicted a futuristic city where machines and robots played a central role in society, with the humanoid robot Maria being one of the most memorable images from the film. 12. Isaac Asimov's Laws of Robotics, 1942. A. Isaac Asimov introduced a set of three laws that governed the behavior of robots in his science fiction stories. B. These laws emphasize the ethical considerations of AI and robotics, laying the groundwork for discussions on AI ethics. 13. HAL 9000 Inches in 2001, A Space Odyssey, 1968, Film. A. The AI system HAL 9000 in Stanley Kubrick's film, 2001, A Space Odyssey, is a sentient computer that turns against its human crew, reflecting concerns about the potential dangers of AI. 14. Blade Runner, 1982, Film. A. Based on Philip K. Dick's novel, Do Androids Dream of Electric Sheep? This film explored the concept of artificial beings, replicants, that are nearly indistinguishable from humans, prompting philosophical questions about consciousness and identity. These early imaginings and references laid the foundation for the complex and multifaceted discussions and developments in the field of artificial intelligence that we see today. They reflect human curiosity, hopes, and fears regarding the creation of intelligent machines. Thanks for watching. Request you to subscribe the channel.